Hey everyone, welcome back to the final Time Attack event, CSCS finale here at TMP Cayuga. First I want to say thanks to Precision Motorsports for sponsoring my Time Attack events this season. I greatly appreciate it. After round 4 at Kalbogi, the Street Touring Championship is pretty tight. As you can see, I'm not that far ahead and today's event really matters on deciding who's taking home that championship. So let's get to it. After my warm up lap, the first lap feels pretty good. I've got some new tires on the car, the brakes this season has always felt good, and I'm pretty confident in trying to set my fastest time at this track since I've been setting my fastest time at every other track this year. But as you can see, I sent it a little bit too hard into the curb and something broke. At this point, you guys know I've broken my transmission so many times that I was assuming it was something gear related or the selector, but the gears were engaging pretty well so it had to be something else. Then I was thinking maybe it's the final drive, but I've broken the final drive before and it usually still rotates and makes a sound. This could be it for my day, but as this fancy tow truck was pulling me off and we had a look at the car, we found out that it's the drive shaft. So there's only one thing left to do, get to work. As you can see here, I was pretty lucky that the drive shaft didn't hit anything while it was spinning and caused any further damage to any other components. I was pretty lucky that another TSX club member was at the event with his TSX and he was willing to give me his drive shaft so that I can complete the day and afterwards I would just give it back to him so he could drive home. Once that was done, I started my first hot lap once again and once again I'm out of luck as you see the red flag because a car went off at turn 1. Now as I sit here waiting for the car to be pulled off, I'm sitting here without a qualified lap for the finals which means I'd lose my championship and at one point they were considering to scrap the session so I would have done all of that for nothing. Luckily they decided to keep the session and I was able to go out there and try once more to qualify for the finals. And what I thought was a good lap actually turned out to be a 122.5 which put me 8th in my class. Now that's pretty surprising but it also meant that everyone else was having a better day than I was. Now in the finals, I'm usually able to surprise everyone with my lap times. It's usually much faster than the lap times that I qualified on, but as you can see here, the car kept oversteering. It was just mistake after mistake after mistake. I couldn't get a clean lap in. Either the car oversteered, I missed shift, or as you see here, I had to drive through the dust which compromised the end of lap 2 and possibly a bit into lap 3. Which didn't matter anyway because here we go with some more oversteering and of course the massive snap oversteer at the hairpin. These mistakes could also be the way the car was set up with having fresh tires on the front and used tires on the back. Uh, it's a mistake on my part, just uh, I guess another thing to learn for next year. I still managed to do a 121.7 which isn't my greatest lap by far, it's actually probably my slowest lap over the last three years for the finals. I needed to complete the event. From the broken drive shaft to the red flag to all the mistakes in the finals, I still completed the event. And that puts me first in the Street Touring Championship. Thanks to everyone that helped me today. Thanks to everyone that came out to the events throughout the year. I greatly appreciate it. I know it's not easy to give up your Sunday to come out and watch all the time. 
but your continued support is always a welcome. Now, time to rebuild the car, and I'll see you guys next year. Thanks.